Jill and Jim live in the US. One day Jim goes on a business trip to Europe. Jill misses him very much, so she calls him up. She asks Jim to take a selfie and send it to her. He agrees. Jill gets furious as soon as she sees the picture. Jill. You're a liar. How did Jill figure it out? Europe and the US are in different time zones. But in Jim's photo, it's noon. That's American time. He never left the country. Can you find a zombie in this picture? Over here. What about this ski resort? Can you spot any zombies? Hello? And now let's see if you can find a zombie in this amusement park. It's hiding over here. The biggest bank in town was robbed last night. The local police investigate this case and find two suspects. They go to search their houses. The officer sees a clue and figures out who the criminal is. How did he guess? Let's take a look at the walls. There's the same picture in both houses. But this one is hanging upside down. There's probably a stash behind it. Busted. A teacher has 21 colored pencils. Seven red, seven yellow, and seven blue. She needs to divide them into two piles so that one pile would have three times fewer red pencils than the second one. And the second pile should have two times fewer yellow pencils compared to the first pile. How many blue pens would be in each pile? Zero. The teacher had 21 pencils, not pens. Can you rearrange these crayons and make four triangles? To solve this mystery, you gotta think outside the box. Here's the correct answer. Let's make the task a little harder. Can you remove just two crayons to make two squares? Ready to see the result? There you go. Donna goes to a supermarket and spots something weird. Two of these women are pregnant, but one of them just stole a watermelon. Can you guess who? It's the third lady. She's wearing high heels, not what pregnant women would wear to a grocery store. Kitty wakes up in a creepy basement. She needs to open this door to escape. Can you guess the right order to press the buttons? Kitty needs to make the word unlock from the first letters of each emoji. Therefore, she should press the buttons in the following order. Unicorn, nose, lobster, onion, cactus, kiss, and voila. Today is Cassie's birthday. She brings a cake to work to celebrate with her colleagues, Stan, Gemma, and Rosie. Cassie unpacks the cake in the office kitchen. Suddenly Granny calls, and Cassie goes outside to talk to her. After a while, Cassie returns and finds her precious birthday cake on the floor. She questions everyone. Stan says, I was sending an important email, so I didn't look at the kitchen. But I think it was Gemma. She's just pretending to be your friend. Gemma says, I went to the toilet to wash my hands. When I returned, the cake was already on the floor. And Rosie says, I don't know what happened. I went to the opposite side of the room to turn on the coffee machine. I made cappuccino for everyone. Who's lying? The coffee machine is off and all the coffee mugs are empty. Therefore, Rosie lied. She was busy doing something else while Cassie was away. 
Detective Bold is having lunch at his favorite cafe. He looks through the window and sees his neighbor Zelda rushing home. They both live next to the cafe. Suddenly Zelda runs back and approaches the detective. Zelda. Please help me. My apartment was robbed while I was out. I didn't touch anything. I just ran here right away to find you. Detective Bold goes to see the crime scene. He looks around and says, Stop fooling around, Zelda. There was no robbery. How did he know? Take a look at this umbrella. Zelda carried it with her when she was rushing home, but she told the detective that she didn't touch anything at the crime scene. She just threw her stuff around the room to make it look like a robbery. Take a look at this fancy group of people. One of them is a real vampire. Can you guess who? It's the second guy. The first guy struggles with drinking this reddish beverage. The lady is just wearing a cosplay costume. And the guy on the right is taking a selfie, which means he shows up on camera. Therefore, he's a human being. Jeff calls the police early in the morning. Jeff. My neighbor cut down a tree on my car. A policeman arrives soon. Policeman. What happened? Jeff. My neighbor and I had a quarrel last night. When I was ready to go to bed, I saw him standing in front of my car. In the morning, I went out to drive to work and saw this. My car is pretty old. But he still has to pay compensation for the damage. The policeman questions Jeff's neighbor. He says, Jeff is a bit weird. He's always trying to start a quarrel for no reason. I didn't touch the car. I was sleeping all night long. The policeman examines the car and immediately realizes which of the neighbors was lying. Who cut the tree down? Can you guess? Jeff. He cut down the tree with this ax and then tried to put the blame on his neighbor to hit him up for money. Mike is an astronaut. His team consists of two other people. They're twins, Rob and Bob. They go to Mars for a month to study the local life forms. Time flies by quickly, and today they have to return to Earth. Mike goes to say hi to his little crew, but he finds six identical people in the spaceship. Mike realizes that the Martians can take any shape. Whom should he take back to Earth? This astronaut has three fingers. This guy's hair color is different. This imposter has forgotten to put on human ears. And this guy has different eye color. So the real Bob and Rob are over here. What's wrong here? The goalkeeper is holding a tennis racket. Also, why do they need two hockey pucks? Shelly downloads a dating app hoping to find new love. She likes several guys. They begin to chat and share some selfies. All three guys claim to be single and living alone, but only one of them is telling the truth. Can you guess who? The first guy sent Shelly a selfie from his bathroom. He's wearing a bathrobe, but there's another silk bathrobe hanging in the background. It's pink and small. Why would he need it if he's living alone? And the second guy is obviously fond of jewelry. He's wearing a ring on each finger, including the ring finger. So he's probably married. Only the third guy is telling the truth. And Shelly should give him a chance. A dangerous criminal escapes from prison. The police are chasing him, and the trail leads them into a small village. They question the locals and check the fields. Soon they see a farmer in a cornfield. The detective asks him if he had seen any suspicious strangers around. Farmer. Sorry, I didn't focus on what's going on around me. I was too busy dealing with my corn. It's getting dark soon, and I need to harvest as soon as possible. The detective immediately figures out that this guy is the wanted runaway criminal. How?
corn is not harvested like this, so he can't be a real farmer. Can you see any odd details here? The phone is unplugged, and the laptop is missing a keyboard. Can you spot anything odd? Take a look at this guy. His fishing style is pretty weird. What about this scene? What are they doing wrong? This lady is skating on the pavement. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.